Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Logan from Calling Our Shop back with some more MLB picks on this Wednesday, June 16th. Guys, let's get after it today. Let's make some more money. Right now, we are sitting at 64.95 subs. Can we get to 6,500 by the end of the day? That's only five away. Absolutely, I know I know we can, but we can't do it without, without you. Mashing that subscribe button. So go ahead and mash it if you already aren't subscribed. Drop a like on this video if you already are subscribed. We really appreciate it. You know we, Austin and I are trying to grow this community to the moon, right? We're always saying to the moon, tens of thousands of subs. Can't do it without you guys, but we really appreciate you. And lastly, we appreciate our COS All-Stars, all these people all over the screen. Austin and I are eternally grateful to you guys. If you're interested in joining, just a little virtual tip, $2.99 a month. I mean, come on, guys, $2.99 a month. I spend that on throwaway parlays, right? If you're interested in joining, either click the join, join button next to our channel name or the first link in the description below. Let's recap last night, right? Three and one. Heck yeah. It looked like two and two. Not not even going to lie to you. Mets money line. That, that was a clutch win. That was a sweat fest the whole way. Boston first five over. Nope. That was not a sweat fest. That was, that was exactly what I thought would happen. Just got to sit back and count our money. No sweat bet, right? We love those. Now, Houston's run line. Okay, guys, I gotta be honest. I was I was down pretty bad after taking that one. I, I, I chalked it up as an L and I went to bed. Yes, I wake up and do these videos really early in the morning. I don't have time to stay up uh, East Coast time that late. But guess what I woke up to? Yes, an Altuve home run in extra innings to uh, clutch the run line and make this comment in our Discord look a little silly, right? This was the didn't age well comment, right? Yes, Houston clutched that one for us. That was a plus money winner as well. We absolutely love to see it. Our only L of the day was my strikeouts. And you know, that was just a bad beat. He just wasn't striking anybody out last night. But without further ado, let's go into today's picks. Where are we starting? Yankees versus Blue Jays. I'm taking Yankees first five minus a half. So minus 130 odds. Guys, we've got Garrett Cole on the mound, right? Last time I picked against him, he made me look silly. Not going to do it again. Cole versus Toronto this year. One and two earned runs. I mean, pretty solid. Not, that doesn't get much better than that. Stripling on the other side of the mound. Three earned runs and three in the third innings pitched with a 2.7 whip last time these two teams faced. Yeah, so Stripling's going to give up some runs and hits. And, you know, the Yankees offense, come on, guys, they're streaky. We know this. We know this. But they scored runs yesterday off of Ryu, and Ryu's a, a, a better pitcher than Stripling. You know that that's why it, you know it, it's given me it's given me a little little hope right there. They're playing in the Blue Jays' little you know mini park, and the Blue Jays' offense is sometimes streaky. You know you never know what you're gonna get. And facing Garrett Cole, I don't like their odds, right? You know that's why I'm rolling with Yankees in the first five. Could the, could their bullpen come in and choke it? Could I roll this Chapman do what he did? I think a week ago to us and just absolutely sell the game yeah he could so that's why i just want garrett cole versus stripling and we're taking cole and the yankees to give us some runs all they got to technically do is win one to nothing and i think they can they can clutch that for us today moving on to our next pick reds versus brewers i'm taking brewers money line minus 152 yeah i mean i'd like the value to be a little bit better but it's just a money line i don't want to trust them to cover any run line today right who's on the who's on the mound mally four two and zero in runs in each of his last three starts you know, as any pitcher, like I'm going to state the extreme obvious right now. You know, Mally does well with run support. Yeah, it makes sense, right? More runs means you score, you know. But when he's not, you know, he's 3-0 and in his last three games, you know, because, he, because he's been uh, giving getting run support. But what happens when when he doesn't get run support? What happens when, first of all, the Reds are on the road. They, they love playing at home. They play really well at home. They don't particularly play well on the on the road consistently, right? Well, what happens when they face Peralta, right? Peralta, one earned run in each of his last three starts. A super solid pitcher, right? We, you know, maybe check out his K prop if you're if you're really interested in that today. But Peralta should should be able to handle Cincinnati. He's two and zero versus Cincinnati this year. But what we, we what this really comes down to is Milwaukee bringing the bats. You know, Cincinnati's bullpen definitely back of the pack. Even if Malik does put up a, a strong showing, I think this one could be decided late. Yeah, as last night was right in, in extras but I really do I do like Brewers in this one I like Brewers money line and I think they get to Maui Peralta go out there and be the strong pitcher we know you to be moving on to our next pick 
D-backs versus Giants. I'm taking Giants run line, minus one and a half at plus 118 odds. Guys, everyone in the Discord left the Giants for dead last night. I left them for dead as well. I was like, oh man, they're really gonna let the D-backs do that to them? No, they didn't. They they had an amazing comeback, Astro style as well. You know, that they, they finally realized, they're like, we're playing the crappy Diamondbacks and we're better than this, right? Well, I, I hope that epiphany and that revelation happens again today and they just don't met, they don't play with their food right we've got d scofani on the mound zero two two earned runs in each of his last three starts pretty solid numbers d scofani definitely one of the better pitchers sam frank can offer other side of the mound kelly three four and five earned runs in each of his last three he's gonna give up some earned runs that's what he does right arizona bad road team right you know that we, we we saw we saw their collapse last night they're not a good arizona is not a good anything team i'm not even gonna lie and i like I like that they were challenged last night by the Diamondbacks. I hope it. I hope they come out and play inspired and say no. You know that that was a lot closer than it needed to be. Today we cover the run line for Logan and all the COS betters. Last pick, guys. Padres versus Rockies. A player prop. I'm taking Blake Snell's under strikeouts plus 105 odds. Yeah, you know, guys. Me and Blake Snell, kind of like me and Urania, we have a, a love hate relationship. I've bet on him before, and he really hurt me. So I'm betting against him again, and I've been very profitable betting against him. He's made it six innings pitched or higher in only two out of the 13 games he's pitched. What the heck's that? You know, right? They're paying him a lot of money to go out there and not pitch very far into games. If you've ever seen a video, I've seen a video where Blake Snow is complaining about his rating on MLB The Show. He's, he's only rated like an 82 or something. Well, how about you go pitch more than six or six innings? You know, man, like, come on, you're not going to get that rating up uh, pitching like that. Four, seven, and three earn innings pitched the last three starts. What the heck is that, right? That the, the, those are numbers that make an under better feel great, right? Four and te four, ten, and three uh, strikeouts in each of those last three games. So I mean, he got the ten when he went seven innings pitched, but I mean, look at that. I mean, look at those numbers. I know, I'm, you know, it's Colorado ninth in strikeouts. They're great at cores, right? I'm wearing my purple for Rockies, not not really, but you know, the the Rockies are are great at cores. You know, they're, they're a different animal. So let's look at Snell's, you know, last two games pitched versus Colorado. He's went, oh, he got 11 Ks, which is great, but that was at San Diego. And then he got seven Ks, you know, that was at, that was at Colorado. Colorado definitely plays, you know, way different at home. Never pick them on the road, but sometimes flirt with them at home, right? You know, set, you know, six and a half. I love that number because he just hit the seven and he's such an up and down pitcher at plus 105 value. I will take my chances betting against Blake's, Snell or Blake Sell as I always call him because he always gives up burn runs. I, I always see it and he's always yanked real quick, right? Let's recap the picks though one last time for you guys. Yankees first five minus a half, Brewers money line, Giants run line, and Blake Snell strikeout total under. Thank you guys so much. Let's have a great another great day today and let's make some money.